as a young man playing a sport, you are supposed to be aggressive, strong, unemotional. We kind of have the sense that you have to intimidate the opponent. I don't think anyone at this age has that level of self-esteem. So especially when you're in something like football, you're even more vulnerable. I think that that's why people lash out. So what are some of the examples of disrespect behavior towards women and girls? I've had some success playing college football and playing in the NFL, but I really felt like this is what I was called to do, was to mentor young men. We know that sexual assault is a problem in our society. So Coaching Boys Into Men is an evidence-based violence prevention program that is geared towards male athletes, specifically delivered by coaches. Today, all they have to do is have these 15-minute conversations for 12 sessions throughout their season, and they might be preventing a future incident. If you're walking with your mom to the grocery store, you don't want nobody yelling, hey, baby, you would feel a certain type of way, right? Like, man, I know I ain't talking to my mom like that, right? There was things in there that I've noticed that I've done in the past, and like, with boys to men, I just realized, you know, that should change, so I started to buy into what Coach was telling us. Led to a lot of really good discussions, a lot of really honest discussions about our lives, our relationships. Athletes have a lot of social capital. They're the leaders in their community. And if they represent respect, nonviolence, and integrity, it then can spread like wildfire in a school. So I would say to any principal, this is really worth its weight in gold. It really will have an impact on the culture in your building. You're creating the building blocks to have empowering our young men. That duty falls on us to actually go out and prove to people that we can be in healthy relationships. You ready? Yeah! I think that's happening.